So, went to Harbor Freight and we got a dual action sander, a six inch electric. Mainly because our compressor took a dump and we're trying to figure out how to do some quick sanding without having to run a big compressor. So, here's what we got. Yeah. What is it? The Bauer? It's a Bauer. From Harbor Freight. 5.7 amp, six inch, variable speed, dual action, polisher. Power what? Polisher. Oh, polisher? Yeah. Yeah, you can get different attachment for it so you can buff with it. And it's a DA, so. And it comes with a hook and loop um, pad. But I got, I picked these up. And these are only, these replacement pads at Harbor Freight, they're only, they're cheesy though. I mean, they're really cheesy, but they're, they're less than three bucks a piece. Yeah. And I think that stud, will, that stud right there will screw right into it. Yeah, we'll see if that. Well, those are the instructions. We'll get rid of those right away. The loop. It's got a little wrench. It's got an Allen key. It's got a handle. It's got a handle. But the big thing is, forward. can we get that pad off and put one of these pads on so we can use our sandpaper? That's the question. Oh, but that slips in. That little wrench. It come with a little wrench. It'll slip in there. Yeah. Probably down in here, right? Right there. Ooh, looky there. Oh, uh, that should work, right? Yeah. Here, hold that for a second. So sure, I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm working on getting a good shot for clipping out a thumbnail. Good idea. It's all about the thumbnail. <laughs> Same tread. Slide a little wrenchy in there. I mean, you would assume they'd make it kind of universal. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you would assume that. You'd assume. <laughs> Who's universe we're talking about? <laughs> and it's variable speed. So now we can put on our regular sandpaper. Sandpaper. So I got 180 grit here. Plug it in. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it does something. I wonder if it's Ooh, like... it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It sounds... Uh, uh, a little leery about that. The sound isn't so great. Right here. Watch it ain't on already. It takes off on you. Good quote. Good point. Whoa. That's fast. Oh, variable speed. Okay, that was six. Let's see what three is like. Oh, I like it. Looks like you don't want to come right down into it. That's aggressive. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's crazy aggressive. You know what? It's probably got a wide orbit to it. Yeah, it does. Great. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that's going to take some You sure it's it's not locked in a circular? It's, it's, it's orbiting, right? It's doing the orbital like a BA. No. It's just a grinder. Yeah, but like a funny... Weighted grinder. No, no, no. We got it now. Hey, Boy, I hate to do this. Let's read the book. Is there a pin or something that tells us? Gotta be a pin. Something to unlock the DA part of it or something. That's. It says dual action. We're getting single action. Very aggressive. Boy, just to give you walking up to your Porsche. And Gonna oh, polish yeah. it with that. <laughs> <Did that. laughs> okay, this is all the warnings. Two pages of warnings. Okay. Do not take into the bathtub with you. Ooh. Now oh, you turn the whole thing apart already? Well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, kickback and related warnings. Side handle switch and bonnet. Grounded tools. Well, we'll figure this out and come back. Yeah, let's figure it out. Okay, now we're mired in controversy over whether or not dual action, like what is written on the box here, dual action means the same thing as a DA. So I have an air DA here that works great when you have a compressor once. And this spins independently of the shaft itself. So it, this this will spin, it'll it'll vibrate back and forth. With this one, it it's always locked up. See this here. 
spin separate and it makes that orbital sanding action whereas on this one it appears yeah I'm turning the motor when I turn that you can see that little white the fan in there moving that's locked right up so really this is just like an offset rotary grinder it just it's just a grinder that rotates in an offset direction and you can see can't take the, let's take the um I'm take that apart again yeah, and see let's take it apart again and see maybe it unlocks in the weight maybe that so it works like this cuz this works entirely different that is supposed to spin yeah so it is a dual action sander what's the deal what's going on is it because know. we're using a different pad, this pad here, and well, it's hitting? Get the original pad. Yeah, I think that is it, Ted. Okay, so we have a glitch with that. So we need a washer. Well, there's a washer right on there, I see it. Yeah, but we, we need probably two washers to make up for that. There's a washer right here. I'll see if it just, see if it just works, because we, we got that. That's the difference. See, it was locked against this one. Yeah. You it can wasn't see giving it, was... it the appropriate dueling action. Yeah, so that's that. See, that's still flush with that black plastic. So we need one more washer. All right, so we got another washer in there to space that out. Yep, that spaces out. Nice. Any little wrench go? I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it goes wherever all the little wrenches go <laughs> around here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Still locked up. No, I think it'll work now. Yep. That's it. <laughs> That's the action we're So hopefully for. there'll still be some metal left on this when you're done sanding. Oh man, now <laughs> we gotta spray that with surfacer. Yeah, it's gotta get surfaced. Oh! That works bad. good. It's a little, it's not as, um, it's not as controllable as like a nice air one, but it's, I mean, it gets you out of the bind. Well, actually that, I've had nice air ones, but that air one here, that's another one from the Harbor Freight. Yeah. And that really works good. And I bought that one, that one's just about new. I bought it to replace the one that I burned up because I don't oil them that much. I only put little drabs of oil in them because I don't me, like um, splashing oil all over something I'm going to paint. Let me turn up the speed. I was at two and a half. Yeah. I'm going to go right to four. If we'll you get it. the right speed, more speed you should actually better. feel it suck to the work. Yeah, and I wasn't feeling that. You were feeling that. It was pushing that. me around a little bit. Yeah. Which well, is no good. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hey, that's not bad. I'll tell you what, it piled up some dust there, which means it's working. Oh, it's working. In fact, it's skinned the edge again, you know. Yeah, that's all right. This, this here, that's what I gotta you got to work that quite a bit. I might actually just use a, use a glaze, buddy. What? Yeah. Clean that up. Bring, peel it back further, feather it out. Okay, let's see how it works. Oh yeah, see now that's gone. Yeah. A little bit here. It went yeah, but you feather that out. Then we'll put, I'll put a heavy coat of, or you will, a heavy coat of primer surface on there. We give it a nice quick little sand off and it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's not bad. What, what did it cost? Two, uh, $20, it, $21. What did it cost? Huh? In 2021 dollars. Oh, in 2021 dollars? Because we're in 2021. Oh, we are in 2021. Yeah. Uh, in 2021 dollars, it was, uh, I think, 72 bucks. There you go. Yeah. So if it works for but I've seen gas projects. Gas went up 10 cents a gallon yesterday. Yeah. Here, anyway. Yeah, so everything's going to get more expensive, like it always does. But I mean, it gets you out of a bind. You could do a vehicle with it easy, and, you know, you don't have, a, you don't have to get a giant compressor, because those air tools suck down air like crazy. Yeah. This... It's just going to keep kicking until it dies. 
I think I think this this is rated at. I don't remember exactly, but I think it's seven or eight CFM. So, you know, and until and unless you really make a jump in compressors from five CFM to eleven, and the difference is if you buy junk, you can buy the five for three or four hundred bucks. Yeah. You buy the 11 that DeWalt we saw that was pretty cheap was less than 600 you can't bucks. Can't find it, but usually it's a thousand dollar compressor you need to run a tool like that. Yep, at, at least, or else yeah. you go up to so, two grand. 75 bucks or a thousand dollars, you know, on a budget. I guess we got a little versus versus <laughs> going on here. That's, I mean, you could buy you could buy 10 of these and not. Even, <laughs> yeah, so, right. <laughs> you know. Fact, Honestly, I'm going back to the store now to buy nine more. You need a compressor for other things, <laughs> so you might already have a good one, but if you're in a bind. Yep. Yeah. All right. Bad. We'll see. Yep. We'll come back after, after, maybe after the truck's done, and we'll see how it performed. It's a little clunky. But Looks like it's going to. It's, it's a little heavier, too, isn't it? It is. I think I'll probably put the little handle on it. Ooh. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over and out.